we thank God for granting us this time once again to come around God's word. Sorgi wa hai da lakchana na bagi da makta muka na isorna achaba matam pina bi bagi da makta kachari. Yes, we thank God that we could resume our translation into Hindi from this Sunday. Masi ki chayol asi da ki amuk han na Hindi ki translation asi amuk ta ujabu phangu da makta kachari. And I'm sure it's going to help many others who are translating. Aina, so it's a chana khanjai madu dia mi mayama ma translation to ori bachin na mayama ma da tengbang bo. And we may have to be a little faster therefore, so please... flow together with us kitang ai khoi thu na chat pai ai maram aduna ai khoi ga chat mi na ba oi sanu you know we thank god for all that god has been speaking to us for the last how krab chai ol tarat ta gi ishor na ai khoi dang tha ja ba ya ba oi na ngang bi rakrab khuding makki da mo tha ga chai we are meditating on god's word from the book of isaiah chapter 52 isaiah yang khai ni thoi da gi ai khoi wakal ta uduna wakal lutha na khan ta uduna lak leba we saw very clearly god's mind concerning isaiah khoi na mai yam na seng na ishor na sion gi maram da wakal ta uri ba da ubo phangi The Lord wants to restore Zion. Bona Sion bo hanjala ningi apapu punsi da. The time of God has come. Maha ki matamado lakle. The time of God has come. Abhi di shor ki And it is for her to respond to God's command or God's word. Adudi sulup na or Sion na ishor ki yathang sing ase ase bo paukum bi bagi matamado yorakle. Yes, she is to respond to God's word. Ishor ki wahi da maha na paukum bi se batai. And we thank God that God has spoken many precious counsels to us. Zion is the picture of the church. 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 Into the fullness of Christ. Maramaduna isho na ikoy da masigi makau prabhu jisu Christa dalay ba makau asigi mari da phongdok pido na utpiri ba kuding maksing asigi da mak isho buta gali. Yes. Now uh, we have no time to revise many things. Ay po na ta krabo kaya maro manjan bagi matamdi laytre ho zikti. Yes. For lack of time. Matamuat po na maram oiraga. We heard that ascendancy. Will require faith in our lives. Without faith, it is not possible. And in these end times, one of the most important things that we would need in uh, our lives, in the life of God's people, is faith. And God has been speaking many precious counsels to us from the book of Isaiah. We saw from the book of Isaiah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Ibrutara mathoi wan da thaja ba hai bosi ai koi na asa tauri ba port adu gi maram da soi dre hai ba khang ba u ba port. It the elders obtained a good report. Maram de ahala man singa apa ba maram. You know, and we saw many, 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 many a uh, epistle to be written to the new testament hebrew believers and churches singlup amadi hebrew gi singlup singda mioi singda masigi church city ase e khibagi maramado so we heard very encouraging counsels of god from these hari basastra sida gi aikoi na isor gi mamalura ba pauta kaya su tami na khre yes we also heard last week that god wants even the soul to be disciplined by faith and brought in line with god's own mind aduga isorna masigi hingba asibu mahagna warak watem bire hairaga isorgi wahaiga amata oina mari samba do pamani god's encouraging isorgi mamallu raba aduga mathogat piba pauta kaya ikhoina tare this soul is to be one over hariba hing hingba ase hingli ba mi ase ikhoina thoi jabata that uh, a life 
It is a peculiar and unique concept of God. Yes, and in this revelation, God is revealing to us one scripture in the light of this. Masigi mangalda leiba sastra amai pazaningi. From the book of Hebrews, Hebreagi, Hebreagi ani dagi. And verse eleven, I would like to read it from the JB Phillips translation. Dagi pazaki. Yes, as we heard, man is a peculiar, peculiarly noble conception of God. Akona taakre miyoi basidi ishorgi adu gumba top top pa akak na ba ishorgi wakala mani. Yes, not as he is, but as he will be as in Christ. Adu bo Christa da mahagno oirakada ba do adu bo hai bani. You know, so we see that. We are brought into that life in Christ Jesus. I cannot urge, madudi, madugi Christ the life of punsi to die. Koi bo pukalak pire bani. It's a glorified humanity. Masidi matik mangal gi miyoi bani. That God is after. Thira ka leri ba yeng li bas eh. That distinctive mark of humanity is the soul is in the right position. Toko patongan ba miyoi bagi mawong mato amadi. Mahaki hing liba mi asa is cuma fibam dalai budi. You know that is in right relationship with God. Aduna cuma na ishwar ka mari lai na budi. And I would like to read. Aduna ayna pasaningi. From the book of Hebrews, I would read it from the J B Phillips translation. J B Phillips translation degi ibriya degi pasake. Just a moment. For the one who makes men holy, and the men who are made holy, share a common humanity. Maran dimi singbu sengdok pi ba mahak sengdok pi ra ba makoi ga amat amat adagi ni maran asigi da mak mahak na makoi bo machi na ko ba ikai di. Sengdokpi bawa mahaka, sengdokpi raba makoi ga amat tad miwai bawa amat tadi kini. One humanity. Cak mana bawa miwai bani? You know, so we thank God for this wonderful conception of God about man and humanity. Miwai bawa mari da ishor na lady bawa mahaki. Cakar bawa angak bawa wakalu nasi kita bawa ishor buat thagali. You know, and we heard very clearly. Aku nama itu sengna tak kerbani. The abiding character of spiritual loss. Hawaii matampuna makki oeraba adu gumba wayan yathanga do ikoi natare. You know, as the Lord led me to those scripture portions. Those thoughts, because I felt there's a great need for us to see this. You know, in our own lives. Many a time we think that these things are for the Old Testament people. Now, before I move on there, you know, I would like to say something a man of God said. Who said, faith grows faith. With use. Hasa bahay ba si 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 na ba matamda chow kalak pani chow kalak panay pani. Faith grows with use. Hasa bahay ba si 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 na raba kanda chow kalak pani. You know, and that's very very important. Madu yaman maru oy pani. So if we are to have great faith, ay kaya na tawo ba hasa ba lagi harap di? We have to use little faith that we have. Ay kaya na lagi ba apik pa machangi hasa ba do ay kaya na si si na ba day? Now that's what he meant. Madu ni mahag na artha tawri ba si. Faith. Grows with use. हाज़ा बहाय बस इसी सीज़न नवम तम्दा चाऊ कलक पनी. You have faith, but you don't use it. नकोई ना हाज़ा बल लेने का. It remains as it is. आधुमक लेने का. Without any growth. आधुमक लेने का. 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 
Now that's a tragedy we find with many believers. We have to use the little faith that we have in Christ. And we have to use it now. And we have to use it today in our lives. And that is important. Put it into work in your lives. We have to put it into use or work in my life through my obedience. I have to put into use in my life through prayer. You know, this faith has to be put into use in many other ways in our everyday life. Yes. It will grow. Many a time we do not use faith. It is put in cold storage. And we try to pick it up and try to use sometimes. And it doesn't work. But faith is to be used in our everyday life. Yes. It will grow surely, brothers and sisters. As we use it every day in our lives, this faith is bound to grow. It will grow stronger day by day as we put this faith into use in our everyday lives. And we must dare to trust God. You know, for something small, that is where we begin. Dare to trust God. Wherein we exercise our faith in small things. In ordinary daily things. And that's where it will begin to grow, brothers and sisters. Yes, then we may be able to have more faith. We will grow from faith to faith as a scripture says. And you will begin to see and I will begin to see. And I can say with little experiences in my own life. Faith grows. It enlarges. Yes. So even if you think you have only little faith, I would urge you my young brothers and sisters, I would urge my brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, however smaller your faith may be, yes, we must, we must use it. Yes. We dare to trust God. Exercise that little faith we have. You know, that is how we stretch our faith line. Why God brings in circumstances and situations. It is to exercise my faith. Where God wants me to stretch my faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God helps me to stretch my faith. I, I, I know this. There are so many ways God has done that in my life. And I would urge you, my young brothers and sisters, don't say I have no faith or my faith is very little, brother. You know, you have gone so far. You may have more faith. But let me tell you, we all begin with a little faith. That is where Abraham began. That is where everybody began in Christ. But remember one thing, faith grows. And responsibility on us. God brings in situations, circumstances, 
That we may stretch faith. We may we may obey. We may trust God. We dare to trust God in those situations. That is how faith grows. Oh may God help us. As we heard, God as God is abiding character. In the principles that God has given to us. Aduna, ishorna ikaw na pinabikra ba niti niyom sing asid ay da ishor gi matam sang nagi oera ka daba adugumba mawong matawsing ay dalay bani. And we heard very clearly. Ano mayak sing na taakre? The spiritual laws they never change. Asig ay thawa gi yathang sing asay hongdok pa laite. God's end is the same. Ishor gi aroy bato chap manay. And the laws by which God reaches His end. They never alter or change. Now we heard that the laws of God are not the same as our laws. Now we heard that the laws are not laws for Abraham alone. We heard that the laws are not laws for Abraham alone. We heard that the laws are not laws for Abraham alone. We heard that the laws are not laws for Abraham alone. We heard Yes, Abraham was brought out of the Ur of Abraham the Kalis. That was the local situation. But the spiritual law is the same as we heard. The Lord brings us out. You know, brings us out of our past life. God brings us out of the world, out of the natural, the soul realm. You know, so we saw that that spiritual principle remains for all of us. You know, the end is the same. We heard very clearly last week. I want to come back to those things. Firstly. Faith brought Abraham into oneness with the divine purpose. Haza bana Abraham bo isorgi oiba pandamnu da amat to oina pukhalakhi. You know that's a wonderful principle. Madu yam na angak pa chaura ba thapak niti niyom. That that the law that has never changed. Adi bidi hai bidi madu ki waya niya thang hong balai tapu. God brought Abraham into oneness with God's divine purpose. Abraham bo isor na isorgi pandam madu ka amat to oina pukhalakhi ki. There was a sovereign purpose in the heart of God, in the mind of God. When he appeared unto Abraham in the womb of Kaldis, and all God's activities with Abraham was with that purpose in view. That purpose was a heavenly seed in union with God. Madugi panda madudi isogi macani paga amat tu oine lemi naba matam da sarga gi yumlep cara ado adu adu buni. Yes. Now we heard this. Last Sunday. And secondly, the 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 other principle. Ado pa niti niom adu di. Which never changes. No, we cannot say it was for Abraham then. It is different for us. No, it's the same. Abraham matam adu gi Abraham gi ni hai na highway abna te masi di cap mana buni niti niom. That is faith brought Abraham. Into oneness with the method, with uh, with God's method. Abraham na isorgi adu gumba thabak thawong adu ka. Chap mana na isor na Abraham bo pukhalak pi kibani isorgi thabak thawong adu ka. Faith brought Abraham into oneness with the method of God. Aibadi thaja varna Abraham bo isorgi thabak thawong adu ka amat thawoi na pukhalak kibani. Yes. Which method God intended to use throughout? In to fulfill the purpose of God. I will be sure na mahaki pandam singa se thunga na 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 bogi da magta season na kya hai na khan ki ba thabak thawonga do. Yes. Aduga. What was and is that method? Aduga madhu kari no madhu ki thabak thawonga do kari. And we heard last week. Separation from the earth and nature. Human nature. Human nature. Niyoi bogi mawong matu amadi pithri bi dagi. Natural man. Tongan thok pa si ni. Separation from the earth, from the natural, and bring us into union with God. And then we heard that the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. So 
We see here this wonderful principle of God. You know, God through faith brought Abraham into that oneness with God's method. That that oneness with God's method. Yes, method of God. Yes. Now we heard that that was a separation, life of separation. Now I was thinking to move on and but the Holy Spirit began to brood over me and keep me in that in that thought to share something more. You know, uh, I wanted to move on further. But the Lord began to lay this upon my heart. So there are a few things that I would like to share. We have heard about separation so much in the past in many meditations. Yes. You know, we know that we we have this world so much in, in our lives as well. This world, this earth, and this natural man, all these have to be worked upon by the cross cross na You know, God's Work has to be done in this realm. You know, through the cross. And a separation is necessary. A separation is what will bring us into that union with the heaven or with heaven. It's only when the cross works and the separation is brought about. We are brought into that realm of union with God and heaven. Yes, and separate us. Separate us from the earth. Separate us from the world. Separate us from the natural man. Yes, now we know much about Abraham's life. We have heard many, many messages. You know, we see how God allowed many things or, you know, many things happen in the life of Abraham. Yes. And in all those things, we see God's divine method. For example, the Lord said unto Abraham, when the Lord said unto Abraham, when the Lord said unto Abraham, get thee out of the country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house. That was only the beginning of his exodus. Yes. This was just the beginning. Get out. It was only a beginning. That separation. Get out. That was just the beginning. Yes. And remember that. Get out. Or it says. Get thee out. Or in other words, get out. <laughs> that sounds like a very strong bad word, but that's what exactly the Lord said. Abraham, get out. Get thee out. You know, that was only the beginning of his exodus. Now, this principle was applied in the life of Abraham. Till the end. Hallelujah. So that's very important. You know, it was only the beginning of his spiritual sojourn. Yeah, but that principle was, 
you know in operating in his life till the end adu gariwani ti niyom aduna maha ki punsi gi aroi ba phao ba oi khibani so that principle was abraham out adu gariwani ti niyom adu di abraham tholo o abraham out tholo klo get out ma pham adu da gi out tho out out from the earth oi ba makhai sing adu da gi tholo o out from what was of the world gariwani oi ba sing adu da gi tholo o Out, out from Nasa yourself, Abraham. Abraham. Hallelujah. Well, that principle is a principle that was at work in the life of Abraham, Abraham till the end. Abraham, you can see the arrow of power, the book show, keep on it in your mind, don't you? Yes. Yourself, Abraham. Abraham, Nasa mag thoglo. Out from your Nasa own Nasa mind. Nasa pugning dagi thoglo. Out from your own Nasa judgments, Abraham. Nasa gi wai an kisar du dagi thoglo. Out from your own will. Out from your own emotions. Out of your own likes and dislikes. Out from your own will. Out from your own emotions. Out from that I. Yes. Out from that I. Yes. So remember this. Separation. Is progression. Not enough to say I was separated when I came to Christ. This principle goes on till the end. Oneness with the divine. Oneness with the divine method. You know, oneness with the divine method. That will work in us. Till the end. Madhuna, I pray that the book shuhan gadori basi aroi ba phao bani. Till the end is fulfilled. Aroi ba gi oi ba do thunghandri ba phao ba chachkata bani. Yes, that will work in our lives. Madhuna, I pray that the book shuhan gadori basi aroi ba phao bani. And that's how we come in union with God in heaven. I pray that the book shuhan gadori basi aroi ba phao bani. And that's how we come in union with God in heaven. We come into a deepening union with God and His presence. Aduga ikoi na ishwar ga amato oi mina badu dai da he na lutha han gadori bani badu na tongan thok badu na. So we see, this is God's method of realizing His presence. Masidi ishwar gi adugumba mahaki pandam madu bo ikoi da bhapan bhakhan ba. We need to be brought into that place of separation. Ikoi asya madu gi tongan thok pi bagi zagaru da. As I said, I will leave the rest of the details to the Holy Spirit. You know there is so much there about separation, and I am sure the Holy Spirit will never fail to come to your life and my life to tell you where this separation has to become a reality. Hallelujah. Now coming into the body of Christ. Now there is one thing that has to really be, you know, uh, effectively working in the church today. If there is one important principle to be effectively working in the church today. You know, it is this principle of separation that should work in the church in the body of Christ it is this principle of separation this law of oneness with the divine method of God yes yes We need to be coming out of the world. Yes, out of the earthliness. Out of the natural. On one side, and then come into the union with God, God's heart, God's will, with the heaven, and it can go on. Aduga ishwargi matamoi sarga amadi ishwargi oibusinga siga do maina chatham ina baduni. Yes. So this is very important for the Church of Jesus Christ in this present time. So may God help us, brothers and sisters. You know, 
we talk about Abraham, that same law is applicable to the church of Jesus Christ even in this 21st century. The law of God has not changed. God wants to bring His church into that oneness with His divine method today. That is how the church will be brought into her divine destiny in Christ Jesus. Oh may God help us. Now when we look into the life of Abraham, Faith brought Abraham into oneness with God's method. Yes. And it is the same way it's going to be with the church of Jesus Christ. It's perfectly clear. That unless there is faith, we shall not come on into that destiny. Yes. So may God help us to understand oneness with His method is the church of Jesus Christ must therefore arise. She must awake out of her sleep. This is God's word. Yes. Faith is necessary. Yes. Faith brought Abraham into oneness with God. With God's method. With God's method. He was brought into oneness because he believed and trusted God with the principle of separation. Yes. And therefore, faith is important in our daily life today. It needs a lot of faith. Yes. Lot of faith in these days. To walk in that separation. Yes. We need a lot of faith to take our feet off the earth and put it onto the heavenly. Yes. To take our feet off the world and to put it on the, uh, on the side of Christ. We need a lot of faith. That's what the Lord is trying to convey to us this morning. We need faith. That was the challenge for Abraham. Come out. Out Abraham. Out Abraham. Out. Out from yourself. Out of your own out of your own will. Out of your own judgment. Your emotions. It's a law by which Abraham the hinky of his life. Yes. The law of separation. Yes. So may God help us. We need faith. Now faith is. We need to trust God. We need faith to be one with God's method. Yes. 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 Now, if there is no faith, or there is a lapse of faith, 
then we shall go down to Egypt like Abraham. Abraham na Egypt tachat kibagum na ikoy su hanjal lagani hanagi punsi da. Now we know that in Abraham's life, Abraham ki punsi. There were times that he had difficulties. We know that because of the famine, he went to Egypt. Now, what is the meaning of the famine? Now, what is the meaning of the famine? Not Jana Pada, but he went. Oh. Yes. You know, so we see that. Now, what is the meaning of the famine? He went away to Egypt. You know, when there is a lapse of faith, this is something that happens with us. And when we look into the life of Abraham, when he went to Egypt, then he came back with heaven. Yes. And there something else began to happen. You know that lapse of faith. He began to move in a different way. And what was that? He looked for something tangible. Yes, in emotional ways. In natural ways. In having a seed for God. I believe Israel gave them a jumble of chara. That was the line. I know that they gave them a. Who pay a bomong? The man who had a key bunny. Pay a shop pay a bomb. Hang pay a bomong. So we see the lapse of faith brought Abraham to a ground which was so earthy. Abraham who pitibi ki oibu do thayda porakpi ki bado ikon oibu phangi. He began to lean on earthly resources. Yes. So we need to realize this. Abraham learned a big lesson. Yes. So we see that the way of faith is the way of trusting in God. Thaja bagi mau lambi hai bersiti, aikoi ishor das sina, bagi ishor da pishin bagi lambi yadoni. And therefore, may God write this precious principle, the law, upon our hearts. Para maduna masih thawai ishor git thawai na aikoi git masih git wayan ya thang se aikoi thamu ida. Yes, and what is that? Oneness with God's method. Separation from the earthly, the worldly, the natural, the self, and coming onto the side of God. The heavenly, that which is eternal, that which is spiritual. These two things go together. Separation. And union. Now this is important. Separation brings us to union. Remember that. Living and cleaving. Yes. Living and cleaving. Now this is very important. You know, and may God help us to see this. It is not just separation in itself. Separation brings us to a place of union with God and His purpose. Yes, so these two things go together. Separated from earthly things and being joined with heavenly things. Separated from self and separated with God, with Christ. I mean, united with Christ. 
delivered from the self and joined together with Christ. You know, and this is very, very important for God's people, His church in these end times. You know, and when we read the book of Ephesians, we see very clearly this, you know, being uh, reflected, uh, you know, as Paul wrote this letter. You know, we see the eternal purpose mentioned by Paul, the Apostle. I'm not turning to the scriptures for want of time. And the heavenly position of the church. We read the eternal purpose and we see the heavenly position of the church. In other words, I can say the, Paul, the Apostle Paul is joining together with Abraham on this ground the same ground wherewith Abraham lived Abraham and lived that was the position Abraham was one with God's purpose Hallelujah. which was eternal purpose and he was also joined Aduga, with God's method, which is heavenly. Hallelujah. It's the same principle, it's the So let's remember that, you know, whatever things are written here is for us today. You know, we need to understand the spiritual laws that would govern our lives as it governed them in those days in their lives. Yes. And so we see how Abraham looked for a city which is the picture of the church the city of God the heavenly city the heavenly Jerusalem you know coming from heaven uh, uh, hallelujah but so where is the church amen amen the church is coming from the heavens down to the earth. Oh, that's what we see in the book of Revelation. For want of time, I'm not turning to those scriptures. You know, we see the scripture that says, let me just turn to that. Yes. Yes. Uh, Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Yes. Verse 2, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Hallelujah. You know, we need to remember that this is where... The church of Jesus Christ is being prepared. Remember that. The realm of God's working. You know, so everybody has made it into physical heaven. Physical heaven or in a same That is where we need to get out of that human uh, interpretation. Remember the church of Jesus Christ, though she is here on earth, she is in union with Christ and the heavenlies. And she is being prepared in that realm, in that invisible, and she shall be brought into the visible. Yes. I have no time to explain all that today because we must move on. But remember this, hold on to your heart to this thought in your heart and God will reveal it to you in the right time further. Amen. 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 Am
As a scripture we read and the disciples hid those things in their hearts. And when the time came, God revealed it to them. So may God help us, brothers and sisters. You know, may God really help us. We are being brought into union with heaven, with Christ here, when we separate ourselves from the earthly, from the worldly, from the selfish things. And the we are in the heavenlies. We are in union with God's purpose. We are being brought into that oneness with God's purpose here and now as Abraham was. We are being brought into that a oneness with God's Isorgi, method, which is a separation. Hallelujah. Now, with these thoughts, if you read the book of Ephesians, you will be, you will be enlightened, you will be liberated. That's what we see there. This is what Paul is writing. How much he was in agreement with Abraham's life itself. Yes. Oh, uh, as I said, there is so much in that realm. You know, turn with me to Galatians. Chapter 2. And verse 20 is a very famous scripture for all of us Chapter 2 verse 20. For I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I Christa Galoida na cross the seminary aduga aina hing liba si aina hing banate adubu Christa na aigi nung de hing liba ni hausik hakchang de hing jari ba si aibu nung si bira ba amasung kamahak bu aigi damak kathok bira ba isorgi machani pa adu thaja bagi ma panani. Yes, I would like to read it from J.B. Phillips translation. J.B. Phillips translation. Yeah. As far as law is concerned, I may consider that I died on the cross with Christ. And my present life is not that of the old I. I would like to read that again. And my present life I know, is not that of the old I. I. But the living Christ within me the bodily life the bodily life i now live the bodily life that now i live i live believing in the son of god who loved me and sacrificed himself for me you know so we see this wonderful scripture Whatever it is, that I live here in the flesh, that I that I live in the flesh, that I, I live in the flesh, I that live in the flesh. The, that Madugi, I, that live in the flesh, right. 
I live by faith in the Son of God. Ishwar ki macha ni paada tha jab ki ma paana ni. Not the old eye. ไอ้ทาซะบะดิมาซิชอกิมาจานิปาดะทาซะบะกิมาปานิไอ้กิปุนซีไมไลฟ์เดอะอิตอิสออทไซด์มาปานดะโอเรบะนี่ยูโนโ
the spirit of his son in your hearts crying abba father na koi macha ni pa oi ba maram na isor na maha ki macha ni pa gi thawai ado na koi gi thamoi da thabirak le thawai aduna aba i pa hai na kauze therefore thou art no more as and if a son then heir of god maram aduna na hak amuk han na minai oi dre adu bu macha ni pa oi re adu ga macha ni pa oi ra bani na christ ki mapan na isor gi yum lep chara oi re but it is good to be zealous zealously affected always in a good thing and not only when i am present with you adu bo ai na na khoi ga le mi nari ngai matam da natana matam puna makta afaba thabakta thawai yao ba ase afabani my children of whom i travel in birth again until christ be formed ai gi apik pa angang sa na khoi gi nung da christ gi sakong samgat triba phao ba ai na na khoi gi da mak amukka nau yek pagum na yek i again chapter 3 verse 14 ahum gi tara marida that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith masi christ jesus gi mapa na abraham gi bor ado ato pa jat ki mi sing da lakna ba ama sung ka ai khoi na thaja ba gi mapa na wasak pi ba gi thawai phangna ba ni now in all this scripture shastra puna mokshi dai da One thing stands out. Kari gumma ma yam na mayek sing na leply. Masi na sumay. It says, and because you are such. Na koi machani passing oira bani na. God has sent for the spirit of His Son. Ishona mahaki machani pagi thawai ado pina. God has sent for the spirit of His Son. Ishona machani pagi thawai ado thabiri. You know one thing. Again, we read in verse thirteen. Kada tarahum doi sida ida ikoi na mukha na pare. Ah, sorry. Um, uh, Verse fourteen, three fourteen, that the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that he, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Masi Christa Jesus ki mapana Abraham ki bor ato ato pa jat chingi jat kimi singna lak ni singda lakna ba amasung ka aikoi na thaja bagi mapana wasak pi bagi thawai phangna bani thaja bagi mapana through the Spirit. So one thing that is very clear is the means is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Son. It is by the Spirit of the Son. In other words, it is because of the Spirit of His Son. It is by the Spirit of Sonship. It is by the Spirit of Sonship. You know, through the working of the cross. You know, and that is something very, very important. You know, I was really struggling whether I should share these things with us. You know, whether I should go by these uh, these principles. And yesterday, a brother sent me a message. You know, and uh, when I read that message, I was really struck. You know, and when I read that message, I was really struck. You know, and when I read that message, I was really struck. You know, and when I read that message, I was really struck. Really, uh, the Lord is ministering to my heart. I know, Prabhu. Na, I want that saying. Na, masi thagol taubi ki. You know, we need faith. Aikoi da thaja bodo darkar oi. To come into that oneness with God's means. Ishogi pambai adu ga amat to oi mina rakpa yana na bogi damak thaja bodo darkar oi. And we see that now, Holy Spirit is something that we so much talk about. Aikoi na khangi madu di thawa yasing bogi maram daikoi ne amno wari chana. Remember, God's means. Is the way to God's end. Isingiu isorgi pambai asidi isorgi aroi bado yauna na bani. And remember, it is through the spirit of His Son. Nikin biu madudi ma ki thawai gi madudi thawai gi. It is through the Holy Spirit. Thawai gi ma panani. Machani pa gi thawai dugi ma panani. That is the central emphasis in the book of Galatians. Galatians ki larikta le riba yam na maru oiri bado maduni. Isorgi aroi bado yau gado riba asidi thawai gi ma panani. Machani pa gi thawai gi ma. You can read the book of Galatians with this understanding. Masi ki baat ta bisi ki loina na Galatia ki lecture pa bi. You know, we see the spirit of sonship. Machani pa ora ki thawai. The spirit of his son. Machani pa gi thawai. The spirit and the flesh. Thawai ma di thawai. So much we read about big and in the spirit. Now you want to perfect in the flesh. 
You know, so much of the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Son, the Spirit of Sonship, we read in the book of Galatians. Yeah. Yes. The Spirit of God is here. Preeminently as a spirit of sonship. In our a spirit of sonship. No. A spirit of sonship. The spirit of God is is within us preeminently as a spirit of sonship. I don't know how to translate that in any. Uh, no. No. The spirit of sonship. I know the spirit of the spirit of the spirit of the spirit of the spirit Yes, I say we will say, remove the word preeminently. It's difficult to translate. Yes. Yes, we can say like that. We need to realize this. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit in us, that spirit is preeminently the spirit of sonship. Oh, I do not know. Is there any word that we can get preeminent? I couldn't get any other word, sir. And without the Spirit of God working in us, we will not be able to reach God's end. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the Spirit of God. In us is preeminently the spirit of sonship. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, that is right in one way, but this brings a real meaning. Um, Different emphasis. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. It's the Spirit. It's preeminent the Spirit of the Son or Spirit of Sonship. Putratuke. No, anyway, let's just leave that and may, I'm sure, I don't know how other brothers are translating it. Okay. So this is very important. You know, we do not realize that Holy Spirit that is in us is preeminently the spirit of sonship. Yes. 
All right. So this is important. Now most of us we know Holy Spirit is in us. You understand the point? You know everybody says we have the Holy Spirit. We are born again. The Spirit of God is in me. But not all of them realize that that Spirit is preeminently the Spirit of sonship. वो आत्मा विशेष रूप से पुत्रत्व का आत्मा है दैट्स व्हाट इट इज जो परमेश्वर का आत्मा है विशेष रूप से पुत्रत्व का आत्मा हरि विश्व की थवाई अदो मचानु पा और पंगम की थवाई मसी अमरु मेनी पीपल डोंट रियलाइज मन मसे खंगदा बनी दैट द होली स्पिरिट Or the spirit of God in us is preeminently the spirit of sonship. Yes. That realization ought to be in us. People talk about the Holy Spirit. Uh, they only think about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, but nothing beyond that. But when you read the book of Galatians, we read there very clearly. The Spirit of God is preeminent the Spirit of Sonship. Yeah, now you got it. So this is important. We all need to realize this. It's so important in this present time. Yes, there is no hope of reaching the end until we realize that the Spirit of God in us is preeminently the Spirit of Sonship. We will not be able to reach our end. Yes. God's end is fullness of His Son. God's end is the fullness of His Son. Fullness of His Son. If that is Son, and we cannot come there, we cannot come there. We will not reach that end. The end purpose of God. The end purpose of God. And all that is bound with God's end purpose. That glorious humanity, wherein He was not ashamed to call us His brethren. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That end can never become. We can come to. Unless we have faith. Faith to be one with God's means. Hallelujah. That oneness with the spirit of His Son. The spirit of sonship in me. Working in me. Today within me. To bring me to that divine end. That is God's means to God's end. Oh, may God help us. This principle is the same in the life of Abraham. Yes, that's what we read very clearly in the book of Galatians. Yes, may God open our eyes of understanding. Yes. So even after having taken the first step in our lives in that direction, We must have this realization. We must have. We must realize the spirit of God is in me, as the spirit of sonship. Only then we will come into the full expression. So we have to be one with God's means. Oneness with God's purpose. Oneness with God's purpose. Oneness by faith. Oneness with God's methods. By 
By faith we come into oneness with God. Now when we read Galatians chapter four, it says here. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts. Crying Abba Father. Yes. So that is where our infancy began. Yes. The infancy, the infant cry, Abba Father. Yes. And we know that when we were born again, we are brought into that realm. We are brought into that realm. We are brought into that place where we cry, Abba Father. We were not of Him. We were not of Him. We were not part of Him. But we were born. Yes, we are born in the spirit. Wherein we cry, Abba Father. Yes. yes. So we see that, you know, there is a cry from our hearts, Abba Father. We are brought into a relationship. We were aliens to the commonwealth of Israel. We were strangers to God and Christ. But we thank God we are brought into a relationship with Him now. Yes. Brought about by the Spirit. Yes. So we see the Spirit of the the spirit of sonship in us. Yes. Now the spirit of sonship must move on further when it is within us or when he is within us yes we should let the spirit of sonship work in us. Yes. That is the second thing. First thing is that infants we cry father. But now we should allow the spirit of sonship to take us on into that fullness. That's what we read here in chapter 4 and verse 19. Paul says, My little children of whom I travail in birth again until Christ is formed in you. Maramat sudah dah. Paul na na koi na Kristus juga betul. Na koi dah hek Paul terima power by na now yang lihat na ayat betul. You know we read Paul's burden in the book of Galatians. Paul di Paulum Galatia di ibu saya kau ubah pangi. Ayat pik pak angang cah na koi gunung dah Kristus juga saya orang semua terima power by na koi dah mak. Right from the beginning as we read the letter to Galatians. Now yang pak ye ini hai na. One thing we see is that these Galatian believers, they were moving away from the true salvation. Moving away from that life in the spirit. Going into the law again. Moving away from that gospel to another gospel. From that life in the spirit. As sons, their life as sons in the spirit. पुत्र होने का आत्मा में पुत्र होने का वो जीवन है उसमें से उन लोग मचानुपाव और अपने की थवाई तो देगी थवाई की पुंछी तो देगी मचानुपाव और अपने की थवाई की पुंछी तो देगी They were moving away from the life in the spirit as sons मखोई ना थवाई दा 
Adugumba, Machanupa, Urepugi, Oiba, Tawai, the labor Punsi to the Gimacocha Toki Atma, my Putraka Joji, even Usme se Baharjara. So we see the Messia Mayakin Ure. They were quite a talk from that life to the Gi of the spirit Machanupagi, Tawai to the Gi. I've asked. You know, sons in the spirit. They were going away from it. The Holy Spirit, the spirit of the son in them, is to bring them to the end. The spirit of sonship working in them. To bring them to the but full end. But they were moving away from it. And here we find the travail of the Yes. He says, I travail again for you. Christ is formed You know, the Apostle Paul travailed over this matter. Looking at these Galatians, Yes. Because this Working in them to bring them into sonship. Yes. So Paul says, I am travailing, I am burdened for you. Paul and I am and one thing I, I want to share here is, is in English, it. it is not just a matter of my struggling towards God's end, but it's the Spirit of God's Son in me, yes. energizing me. Strengthening me, helping me to move towards God's end. We see that in Paul's expression. I wrote that in Paul's expression. But who is energizing him? It's the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one who is energizing him. I stretch forth. Coming into that oneness with God means it's not your struggle. It is not just your endeavor. Remember, the spirit of the Son is in you and in me. Working in us to bring us to that end. Don't forget that. Yes. And that's why we need faith. The life that now I live. I live by the faith. I live in the flesh. I live by faith. Of the Son of God. Faith of the one who has come into me. The Christ in me, the hope of glory. The spirit of sonship working in me. Which is the means to bring me to the end. Hallelujah. I want to say here, it has to go beyond our natural understanding to a spiritual revelation and enlightenment. 
in the midst of your struggles, in the midst of your difficulties, I want to tell us one we have found a place of rest in Christ. Yes. Hmm. 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 In the life of Joshua, Caleb they entered into a rest. That's what we read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4. They entered into a rest because they had faith that God will bring them in. You know, there were battles, there were struggles. That, but it's God's promise. I have brought you out to bring you in. It is my design. It's my plan. It's my purpose. And I will Hallelujah. How often we have struggled here. That's where we need faith. To trust Him. It's not my work. But it's your work. You will. The church shall be glorious. The church shall be victorious. The church shall be without spot. Hallelujah. There are many things that I try to discourage me that comes before me and stare at me. Many things. The life of God's people. Life of God's people. Maybe my own weakness. Or many other things happening around. But I want to tell you one thing. I live in faith of the Son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can I just reject this? The spirit of his son in me is a spirit of sonship. I know that I am not there yet. But I have a hope in my heart. I know that I am not there yet. But I have a hope in my heart. For I see him. I have hope in my heart. 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 And those who are to be perfected, they are of the yes. same kind. Yes. 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 But to live an overcoming life, it's not possible. We have to live this life the way we are. And only hope is that Christ will come and we will go with Him. But that's not what the Bible says. Every one who has been this hope and this hope is in Him. Every one who has this hope and this hope is in Him. Every one who has this hope and this hope is in Him. Every one who has this hope. That a work will be done by the Spirit within us. The Spirit within us is the Spirit within us is the Spirit of Son. The Spirit of the Son within us is the Spirit of Son. Oh, may God help us. You know, that's one thing we see in the life of everyone. We realize this can only happen. The holy seed can only happen. Hallelujah.
you know, that's going to bring me to, a, to, to find, you know, to have a, a, a profound rest in the Lord. Maduna. When I'm able to trust. I know my father was a man of God. Now, 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 In our lives, we go through some dry, difficult times. You know, many a time I've gone through dry, dry times in my life. Hard times. Spiritually difficult times. Yes. Wherein you begin to feel that you know that warm fellowship is missing in your heart. Oh, Lord. You are not so conscious of the indwelling Christ. You are unconscious of that. When you are surrounded by situations and challenges. Yes. Not that you are gone into the world. Not that you are gone into gross sin. But in the face of struggles and great challenges and struggles and great challenges and Trials of faith. You know, you, you, you feel that you are in a place where you are not, you are not the same. You know, what it is. You want to pray, but you are not able to pray. Yes. You know, when you are in those moments, God remains faithful. He remains faithful. I see his promises that he will never leave. He will never forsake. You know, you know, you know, you know, Though, as I said, you feel dry, you feel a kind of detached. You feel a kind of detached. It's not that you stop praying, but your prayer is not the same. You know, when you are in the church, you are in the church. You are in the church. You are in the church. It is he who has begun this good work. I begin to see the way God brought me to Himself. I begin to see how I would have been cut off from God's purpose, but He preserved me. And and that assurance begins to grow within me that he has begun that work. He will continue that work. I did not undertake this, but he undertook it. Yes. And then 
And he has promised to bring it to glorious end. Yes. And then he I began to realize in the midst of that difficult situation that he is still within me and he will bring me to the end. Yes. And that assurance somehow keeps me with a hope, with that assurance, he will come to me. Madhu ji, asado Madhu di mahak na aingon da hudo pikra bani mahak na loisan bigani mapung phan bigani hai vse aingon da asapi na bi. All that I can say. And I have said to the Lord, I have said to the Lord, Lord, I trust you. Prabhu, I have said to the Lord. Lord, my trust is in you. I cannot break through these things, Lord. I have said to you, these are too heavy over me. But I trust you, Lord. Now when I say this, it may sound like, you know, we can live any kind of life and God will do everything. That's not right. I'm not talking about a backdoor entry into God's life. Yes. I'm not trying to give us some kind of excuse. But this is a reality that God's men have gone through in their lives. Yes. 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 Such off times, difficult, hard. That's real in our lives. Yes. But I know one thing. thing. God will bring forth a fresh Beginning in our life. Yes. 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 You know, many a time, we can be a people who could say, Lord, I, you know, I do this, I do that. You know, and yet we see that dryness. Yes. You may be praying. You may be seeking God. You may be even fasting. Yes. But there is no open heaven. Do you see, we can have all this kind of thing in our lives. We can have meeting for meeting, we can have prayer for prayer, we can have fasting for fasting, but we don't find that that communion with God. We don't find that that communion with God. We don't find that that communion with God. Yes. But 
There are difficult times we go through. There may be situations like that. Because of the trials, the situations, the challenges that you face in your life. Amen. 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 But I want to assure you one thing. We need to yet trust in Him. We need to yet trust in Him. You know, it is His work. It is His work. You know, it is His work. It is His work. Lord, you have begun it. And you will do it. I trust in you. This situation is not going to be forever. This thing that is looming large before me, you are going to take care of it, Lord. If this is going to shadow me all through my life, Lord, you are going to walk with me to the end. Masina, I give punchi suppa khanchandu na mamhal lagal varhal lagal era basu naag na roibu pao vai puching bigani. Hallelujah. I say, what a tremendous hope we have. I quite kaya the chao khraba asano. I quite leli basen. This is the work of the Spirit. Masini machani pao vai bagi thawai gi thabak ado. So we need to have positive faith in the Lord. I quite na achum bataja ba ado. आई कोई प्रभु दे लेजे वो इतो कोई आवत हाजे वो तो प्रभु दे लेगा तो बनी अब वो इवत हाजे वो तो मंगो उन्दा देखो इन्हें थम गदा बनी तो इन्हें महाग ना तो तो वी दना तोक लोए नंसिरे वो इसी ने नाउ शिंग आई ना मस्ती दे बस इंजरे गनी आई पतंग है ना मतलब लोग जा करे ट्रांसलेशन का सुलोई ना यू नो फेथ ब्रिंग्स अस इनटू वनस विथ गॉड हाँ जब ना आई कोई बुरी सोल की पांडम सिंह दा अमर तो ओए में ओए ना पुकार पी पुरक पनी फेथ ब्रिंग्स अस इनटू वनस विथ गॉड सोल की अधुगंबा मेथड अधुगा आई कोई था� Isorgi pambai aduga amat tak oina thaja bana ikhoy bu pukat pi. The purpose is, as we saw from the life of Abraham, a heavenly seed. Pandam adu di sargagi maruni dara yumlep sarani Abraham ki punci dagi ikhoy. In union with God. Adi isorgi amat tak oina bagaloina na. In union with God. Isorgi macanu pa aduga amat tak oina bagaloina na. God's purpose. Isorgi pandam. In our lives. Is again a heavenly seed in that sense. A heavenly people. A heavenly people. Is talking about. Sargagimiya A people in the fullness of Israel. The the method is separation from the earth. Separation from the earth, separation from the natural, separation from the self, and a union with God. And the means is the spirit of sonship. The Holy Spirit in us, which is preeminently the spirit of sonship working in us wherein we are able to say the life that now I live in the flesh I live by the faith which is in the son of God the spirit of sonship who will take me on into the destiny. Only God can help us. I know the battles are real. The challenges are real. We go through the valleys. We go through the dry times. You know, we see everything seem to be so dark. But remember, the spirit of His Son is working in us, bringing us into the dark. मधु की मचाने पाओ और बगी और बतूदाई कोई बो पुष्टि भी ना ना बगी दमक था बो शुरू बनी निंसिंग यू रिमेम्बर द मीन्स मधु ना आई कोई बो मतंपुना मगता और और बता पुष्टि भी कनी 
It is not to condone a life of worldliness, a life in the flesh. But it is to say, in the trials, in the difficulties, when you think it's not possible, remember it is He. Amen? It is He. I know how much how many times I have found the day. And I thank God so far. He has brought me. Oh my God, help us. Abba Father, 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 Shall we all stand? I show you the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we all really look to the Lord in prayer? in the light of the word that has come to us. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Faith is something that will grow as we use it in our daily life. The man of God said that. May God help all of us Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Faith brings us into oneness with God's purpose. Faith brings us into that oneness with God's method, which is separation. It's progressive out and out and out and out. Hallelujah. It's progressive. A principle that works till the end. His means will bring us to the end. Hallelujah. May God help us, brothers and sisters. Oh, how wonderful to see that spirit, that Holy Spirit within us Witnessing to our spirit, we are the sons of God. What a glorious life he has given to us. And that spirit that is coming is a spirit of sonship. Yes. To bring us to that end. Oh, may God open our eyes to see this. To accept this. The spirit of the son. In us is the spirit of sonship. Oh God, may God help us. In all your trials, in those dark, difficult times of trials of faith, let's be one with God's means, the spirit in us. He has begun that good work. He would not leave me. And I would not leave him. Hallelujah. Yes. Look at the life of the Apostle Paul. Everything was so much against. Situations in the church. Things around. Everything. And yet. He lived by faith. Of the Son of God. Hallelujah. 
And because you are Son, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your Spirit of His Son into your heart, crying out, We gratefully bow before you. We thank you for this great plan of yours, O God. That great purpose Hallelujah. And that position where your church ought to be. Hallelujah, Lord. Open thou our spiritual eyes, Lord. Holy Spirit, open our eyes. Help us to see, Lord. Lord, help us to exercise that faith you have placed within us. To come into that oneness with your purpose. That this glorious humanity, Lord, yes, Hallelujah. 
that glorious end, the glorious purpose of thine, your purpose in yourself, as we read in Ephesians. Oh God, Lord, we pray, help us to exercise our faith to come into that oneness with your purpose. Of that, uh, that divine seed, O oh Lord. That man in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. And your divine method, O oh God, to come into that oneness with that method of thine in faith. Help us to exercise faith. That method of separation by the cross. The world is crucified unto me and I to the world. I have lost the interest in the world and the world also lost its interest in me. What a testimony, Lord. Lord, it's a progressive separation. Out and out and out and out from our minds, our thoughts, our self, our emotions, our will. Till the end of God. How true that was in the life of Abraham. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, to be one with your means of God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord, that was so true in the life of Abraham. The means is your spirit working. Not the flesh. But the spirit. Thank you Lord. Holy Spirit within me. Is preeminently the spirit of sonship. Oh God register that within me. With all of us oh God who will hear thy word today. Yes, O God, to bring us to that end, O God. Lord, help me to have faith in my daily life. Give us that faith every day, Lord, to take our feet off the earthly grounds. Put it on the heavenly ground. Lord, help me. Your Holy Spirit will help me. Your Holy Spirit will help me. For he is the means. Thank you Jesus. For that which is impossible with man. Is possible with God. His Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus. I realize. How much my eyes need to be open. Oh God. Yes. Lord that I know that. Then I will come into that rest in you. The rest. It is not my struggles. It is not merely my efforts. But it is the work of the Spirit. The one who has begun this work. Yes, O God. The challenges are real. The situations are real. The dry times. Those off times. Lord, when? When we go through such trials, we feel that you are far away. Things are not easy. How prayers become mere cry. Yes, Lord. Abba, Father. You will not, you will not forsake you will not leave me, Lord. You have begun. Lord, give me faith. Give my brothers and sisters that faith. That you will bring us to that divine end of God. So we thank you for all that you have spoken. Help us to walk in the light of this word. The coming week that is before us. And gather us again in your kindness the next week. 
to hear from thee again, to worship thee, to meet with you. Give you all the glory, Lord. Give you all the praise. Yes. For your Holy Spirit is at work in our lives. Lead us and guide us. Once again, bow before thee, worship thee and bless thee. In Jesus' most precious and matchless name we pray.